What's going on guys? I hope you're very well. Hope you've had a very nice weekend. And today I'm going to show you this very short video of my little sweet gum tree. Well, it's not very little anymore. <laughs> like it's uh I think this is about I don't know. I I bought it. I bought it online and it was about uh, I don't know, maybe a year old and then I planted it and it's been planted in this little container for the past uh I don't know, like 8, 9 months. Yeah, almost a year now, so you could say it's about two years old, two years old and a little, little change. So it's about four feet tall. It's really good. Uh, I like it. And there's a little, um, a few notes that I want to share with you in just a couple of moments. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Um, like I said, it's growing in this little top of this little container. It's one of those plastic containers that you can find at any dollar store, so it's very inexpensive. My regular uh, bonsai soil. In this case, it's a bit um, a bit more acidic, and you can see that it's also growing with a cherry blossom. Yeah. It's growing with a cherry blossom, and they're both very healthy. But if you look at the cherry blossom uh, carefully, the leaves, you can see that it's starting to show a little bit of yellowing. And that's maybe because they're just fighting for nutrients. This one is growing so vigorously that they're fighting for nutrients. So what are we going to do today? This tree is growing like crazy. This little plant is growing like crazy. Um, what we want to do is we want to encourage growth but in the lower section of the tree. I'm not sure whether I want to make this a big tree. I don't know if I'm going to you know, make it into a small tree. What I do know though is that the leaves and the ramification should be improved. The leaf size should be uh, reduced and the ramification should be improved. Now if you notice here, this is a very good example of what we're going to do today. We have this huge leaf right here. So that's the first flush of growth. And we also have this little branch. This isn't a leaf anymore. This is a branch on top. And that's what we want to ramify, right? This little branch on top. That's what we want to ramify. So we're going to uh, remove this so this branch gets all the energy. And for these, we're going to clip uh, the ends so we can get, we're going to cut back so we can get ramification, right? So again, if you want to develop growth on the lower section of the tree, you should start with the top and you should go hardest on the top uh, and then continue downwards. I think we can actually cut this because I'm not going to use it. Uh, and, and remember, if we are going to do this, uh, leave some foliage uh, on the top. Otherwise, you might run the risk of, you know, getting a dead branch in the apex. So we're removing those huge leaves that we have. Look at this one. It's huge. Remove them. See, oh, there we go. It's huge. Look at this. Almost as big as my hand, and I have big hands. I really like these, these leaves. They're very similar to maples. That's why some people like them. They're not as finicky as maples but they get nice fall colors uh, you know you can ramify them they're fast growers so I really like sweet gum trees or liquid amber trees mm, I think that's... oh, we have another one right here there we go Okay, so now we cut back, right? We have this long shoot right here. So what we do is we cut back. Same thing here. Same thing here. And here. There we go. We have a super strong branch here. Same thing. 
now what some people do is that they completely defoliate this in the growing season so they can reduce the leaf size and uh, they can encourage ramification. We're not actually going to do that because even though it's growing super strong, you might have noticed that some of the leaves are huge and some of the leaves are not, not as big, they're smaller. And that's because the position, the location in which this tree is growing is not the optimal. If you have any plant and you notice that they start, they start to develop huge, huge leaves like this is because it's not getting enough sunlight. Now, I got to be careful with this one is even though it requires a lot of sun, the place where I live is super hot. So if I put this on a very sunny spot, you might run the risk of like, scorching the foliage, scorching the leaves, stunt the growth. So you got to be a, a bit careful. In fact, I have another one that's exactly the same age, but it wasn't placed in a very good location. And we're going to see what that looks like right now. And here we have it. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to move backwards and you can see the size difference. So a lot of sun, uh, a rather bad location, a uh, fairly good location. See that? But here we can see uh, what I was telling you. This tree is reaching for the light. This tree is pushing out huge leaves so it can get as much sunlight as possible. This is getting enough sunlight, but look what happens. You see that? You see the brown tips, you know, and the problems in growth. That's uh, not a good location. So what are we going to do with this one? I'm not sure actually, because it's uh, in a weakened state. Maybe what we can do right now is just leave it be. Just let it be. Right? Uh, well, what, what we can do for sure is to get rid of this artillery fern. I know I should uproot it, but I don't want to make a mess on the table. Uh, so yeah, you can see the difference right there. Uh, what I want in these trees. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to clip the tips so we can get side branches growing. Yeah. And as usual, someone's trying to sell something outside. Uh, yeah, so we clip the tips and that's going to encourage the emergence of um, side branches. Yeah. Let's take a look at the trunk. Um, it's all right. It's it's not too big. This one's growing in a calendar, by the way. Yeah. So we can see that you know they're getting there. There's fast growers, uh, interesting leaves. Maybe we're gonna be able to take cuttings from this. So it's a nice, nice little tree. I'm just gonna stick these here. Maybe we can get cuttings in the future. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We're going to do the same thing with this cherry blossom. We're going to clip the tips to encourage side branches. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I just want to leave it as a sacrificial branch. That's pretty much it, you guys. Um, you know... Not a lot of highlights in this video, but I hope you like it. If you have any questions, comments, anything, please drop them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll see you very soon on the next one. Bye-bye.